What's up guys, welcome back to see you out there. Welcome back to the kitchen. Welcome to something different. Today, we're gonna do a cooking challenge. Mm -hmm. Mono e mono using the flounder that Corey caught last weekend. You guys check out this clip of her catching this awesome flounder and then we'll get into the rules of the contest. She's locked into something, y'all. I don't know if she's found a redfish back in that pond or what she sees, but she is locked in right now. I told y'all she was locked in on something. She just walked back in this little creek. Did you side fish that flounder? Did you just side fish that flounder? Baby. <laughs> you kidding me right now? Look at you. <laughs> Isn't that baller? <laughs> that is very baller. That is a very good flounder. Do we have ice? Yes, we have. We have ice and he's big enough. There we go. Look at you. What is going on? All right, guys. Corey caught that flounder. She kicked my butt on the water. It's time for me to get even. The only way I can get even with her, I can't do it on the boat, I can't do it on the water. I'm gonna do it in the kitchen, y'all. We're gonna let Corey explain to y'all the rules of this cooking challenge. All righty, y'all. So rule number one, the primary ingredient of this meal has to be the flounder. Good rule. Yep. Primary ingredient has to be the flounder. It has the one you caught. We're both gonna get a top loin and a bottom loin. You guys have filleted flounders, you know there's a top and a bottom fillet. We'll both get one from each, a top and a bottom fillet each, or loin each. All right, rule one, have to use the flounder as the primary ingredient. Rule number two, we can only use, or the other ingredients that we have has to be from the kitchen or the garden. Brad and I are starting a fun little garden outside. It's pretty tiny right now. But we're green onions. We're green. <laughs> yeah, we, all it is is green onions. Oh, a radish, we have a radish. We have growing. a radish and a green onion. Yeah. So we have a heck of a garden out there to choose from. Yeah, but anyway, we thought we'd throw that in there because we're trying to build a garden. And third rule? Third, third, third rule. Third rule. Third rule is be, would be my friend Brooke. Y'all remember Brooke. This is a little video of her fishing. You got a trout. Well, that's a good trout. Brooke, look at you go, girl. Yeah, I'm sitting here doing nothing. You caught a trout. There's a legal yeah. trout. Come on, baby, get him. Come on, baby. Rule number three, paleo. We mentioned this in a bunch of videos before. This meal has to be paleo friendly for Brad and I. So you you don't know what paleo friendly is, paleo is just an eating style where you cut out processed food, you cut out a lot of stuff that the cavemen didn't have, hence paleo. Corey and I have been on this program since we got back from Costa Rica. Um, no reason, we enjoy eating clean and paleo is an eating program that we enjoy. It cuts out processed foods, it cuts out dairy. I'm not preaching Grains. to you guys, grains. It's just something yeah. we like, makes us feel good. We're very active, we feel better energetic. So we've been eating 100% paleo and so our meal has to be paleo compliant. Rule one, we have to use the flounder as a primary ingredient. Rule two, it has to be from the house or the garden. Rule three, it has to be paleo friendly. And like she said, Brookie's on her way over. She's gonna be the judge that way it's not biased because I'm gonna pick mine because I know I'm the better cook. And she's gonna pick hers because she knows she's a better cook. So we need someone to judge. So having said that, you ready to get into it? Yeah. All right guys, we're gonna walk away from one another and tell y'all what we're cooking so y'all know, but the other one doesn't. Let's get into it. Alrighty y'all, I snuck outside because I didn't want Brad to steal my idea. But full disclosure, we all know that bad Brad is a much better cook than I am. So I'm gonna try and win with style here. Um, I was thinking, what can I cook? What can I make? And um, I thought about the people that don't like the taste of fish. that we have a hard time eating it. Um, so, like the Tyson chicken nuggets taste shaped like a 
dinosaurs, I'm gonna make this flounder shaped like a fish. Um, I think I'm gonna use maybe some coconut powder, almond powder, no, coconut flour, sorry. Coconut flour, almond flour, um, and then fry it in that. Can I try and fry it, but like a with coconut oil? Because all three of those ingredients are paleo friendly. Then I'm going to slice up some mango and put a little cilantro on it, a little avocado. Um, I really want to use something from the garden, but I'm not sure. I think th these are our onions. Maybe I'll figure out a way to incorporate those in there, but I think those are the ingredients I'm gonna use, and hopefully, hopefully it tastes good, but it's definitely gonna look cute. So let's go pass the camera off to Brad and see what he's gonna make for y'all. All right, guys, Corey's outside, so I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna cook. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some shallots, or red onions, whichever we have, some jalapenos, some sweet potatoes, uh, some green onion, and I'm gonna chop that up really, really fine diced. And I'm gonna mix that with the inner part of some baby bellow mushrooms. And I'm gonna take that flounder, throw it in a cast iron skillet, I'm gonna brown that up, and then I'm gonna stuff the caps of those baby portobello mushrooms and make a paleo friendly, seafood stuffed mushroom. We have a vegan friendly cheese, which I know sounds horrible, but I'm a cheese lover and finding something that I can eat on this eating program has been fantastic. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that in there too and I'm gonna do a flounder stuffed seafood mushroom that's paleo friendly and coconut oil, guys. That's what I'm going with. You. All right, guys, chopping board. Do you have a knife? We need all of our ingredients. Here's our flounder from the other day. Again, we're gonna get a top loin and a bottom loin a piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that divvied out and give Corey one and I'll have one. Maybe you wanna pick your flounder so that I don't bogart the good ones. Two big, beautiful loins, and then two bottom loins. All right, so I think the first thing I'm gonna do is just make a little slit in the meat for the tail, you know what I'm saying? Oops. It's probably not the safest way to cut, but not known for my kitchen skills. All right, there we go. Kind of looking fishy. Yeah. Red onion, sweet potato, jalapeno, garlic, mushrooms, and flour. Do you have any guess what I'm cooking yet? Any idea? What, wait, what do you have? I have baby bell and mushrooms. I have a red onion, sweet potato, garlic, jalapeno, and flounder. Mm, I don't know. You're cooking the second best meal of today? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. We're about to see. All right, guys, I don't hear anything about this. I'm trying to eat healthy. So this is plant-based cheese. This is a paleo-friendly uh, cheese. It's an alternative that's dairy-free, and I'm gonna use these. I love them. I'm a cheese person, so I'm enjoying these right now. Um, they taste a little like a sour cream, kind of, so I do not mind them. All right, guys, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop up my sweet potatoes. I'm gonna chop these up really small, really finely diced so that they cook quickly. I don't want any big chunks that'll be overly crunchy and kind of take over the texture of my little mushroom. So I'm gonna dice these up really small. Same thing with all the veggies. I'm gonna dice everything up really small. I'm gonna brown this all in the cast iron, but I want it to cook evenly and I want it all to be cooked the same doneness. I don't want any weird textural issues. I don't want anything to throw the judge off on uh, the texture. I don't want a bite or a crunch that she's not, she's not digging. So everything is gonna be chopped small. 
save you guys a little bit of uh, time. I'll do the chopping on a little bit of a fast speed here. I'm gonna get all this chopped up. Red onion, fresh garlic, jalapeno, and then the insides, the stem and the insides of the baby bell of mushroom. We'll get them all into this bowl with our sweet potato and then go from there, guys. Alrighty y'all, so what I'm doing right now is I got my flounder and I put, I dunked him in some egg and then I ducked him, dunked him in this uh, mixture of uh, coconut flour and almond flour. And I'm gonna just come over to the stove right here and in he goes. I thought he was supposed to sizzle. I don't have it very high if I... There we go, it's sizzling now. Okay, so I really hope that this is cooking because I don't know how to tell if a fish is uh, is fried or not when it's coated and all that stuff. So I'm gonna wing it and just flip him when I think he's ready and um, we'll let Brooke try it first. <laughs> All right, guys, all of our ingredients are chopped up, looking good. I've got the red onion, I've got the jalapeno, I've got the sweet potato in there, I've got the fresh garlic. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna prep these baby bello mushrooms. We're gonna take the, sip, the stem out and the middle out of this guy. <laughs> Don't tell her I made a mess. And then we're gonna chop the insides up so that we can stuff the caps. And then we're gonna chop that cheese up to go in there as well. So we're gonna chop up the stems and the insides that come out of here. You can see there, you got your stem. You pull him out and that gives you that big cavity that you can stuff. And now I'm gonna take all this stuff and chop it up as well and add it in there. And then I'm gonna chop that cheese up. All right guys, so here's our plant-based cheese. It's Baby Bell, so it's a brand that you guys all know, and it's the same thing. You open it up, and you got the little awesome little wax puck in there. Then you peel it open. It's the same thing. It's just a little plant-based cheese nugget instead of dairy. So we're gonna chop this thing up. We're gonna chop two of them up, and I'm gonna add that to our mixture, and then I'm gonna chop our fish up, throw it in there, season it, and brown it up. Super easy. I always wonder how some of these YouTubers cook in the kitchen and keep their kitchen looking so clean. Brad and I are already over here making a mess. Aye. Brad, what do you think I'm making? What do I think you're making? Mm -hmm. Besides a mess? <laughs> yeah, besides a mess. Oh, hey, I don't know, second place? 
No. Making a second place dish over there, girl. You're wasting your time. You just don't know. You're wasting your time, I'm telling you. You don't even know. Look who made it! I'm here! The ultimate taste tester. Star of the show, if you will. Star of the show. You know you're my favorite person on the planet, right? <laughs> Always have been. I, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. I tell Corey all the time. Without Swain. you, the world would be a dull place. Sway and the judge. <laughs> I got your cold beer? Yep. Fantastic. You may make you a drink, fluff your pillow. Anything like that? Hey, I'm, I'm I'm trying to film over here. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure she's comfortable. You yeah. just get back to cooking. She come over to get back to cooking. Alrighty, y'all. So I think I figured out what kind of fish I want my fillets to be. I think this one is going to be a mahi, and this one is going to be a shark. Now I just gotta figure out how to make them look like that. You're always in my way. Ocean scene right, right here. A little mahi, a little shark, a little seaweed. Forget. All right, guys, the stuffing is ready. I'm going to pull it off the stove, and I'm going to start stuffing these caps. The stove is preheated at 375. Corey's over here making some cardboard cutouts of an amoeba. I think that's what she's got going on. It doesn't look like a, like a woolly mammoth or something. But I'm going to get this stuffing off. I'm going to get these caps loaded up. I'll give you guys a sneak peek over Corey's shoulder of these amoebas she's making. What you got there, babe? Is that a winning dish there, Emily, Emily Lassie? Uh-huh. You don't even know. What are you making? A shark. A show like a shark done ate that fish. Shark bait. Ooh, oh, that is actually kind of cute. <laughs> All right. Yeah, quit clowning. Quit clowning. <laughs> it does look like a shark. All right, let's get that off. Let's get these caps stuffed. All right, guys, let's pull our stuffing off the stove, off our cast iron. Let's load our caps up and let's get this in the oven so that we can whip Corey's butt. All right, so all we're gonna do is take a spoon. We've got our stuffing. I'm just gonna load these caps really quickly. This is absolutely beautiful. I may have let the judge taste it already. I think that she is partial and likes mine the best. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take a scoop of each one. We're gonna load our shell. We're gonna load it up really good. This one's yours, bro. This is gonna be a big, juicy one. This is gonna be so good. I'm gonna put extra honey and just whatever you want on this. It's you just tell me. <laughs> put a lot of onions in it. A lot of onions? What are you? Quit, I'm talking to the judge over here. Quit getting in my game. We're trying to work, bro. All right, we're gonna continue this. We'll bring you guys back when we load the oven. Now that the fish is cooked, I need to start chopping some stuff up. So what I got to work with is an avocado. A jalapeno, purple onion, a mango, cucumber. They're baby cucumber. Aren't they so cute? Little baby cucumber. And cilantro. Should probably do a sauce too. I don't know. I don't know. We're winging it right now. All right. So, what we got going on over here, I think I'm going to add some seaweed. But it's not really seaweed, it's cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> little ocean scene right right here little mahi little shark little seaweed we're getting somewhere all right y'all i'm on the struggle bus over here i thought this would come really easy if i just had a ton of ingredients that i cut really cute shapes out of but this is all i got so far it's not bad but it's not exactly what i want but I'll figure it out. All right, guys, these are all stuffed and ready. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit them with a little spray coconut oil. And the only reason I'm doing this is so they don't stick and to help those mushrooms cook a little bit. So I'm gonna spray it down with a little bit of coconut oil. I'm gonna pop these in the oven for about 20 minutes. And then we're gonna let the beat down begin, guys. Girl, get your second place butt out of the way. We're gonna throw them in there. 
We're gonna let him do his thing. About 20 minutes, we'll come back and check on it. Okay, desperate times comes for desperate measures. I'm peeling an orange and this is going to be a little fish. I mean to get in your way there, but what in the world are you doing? I'm making the shark teeth. Out of what? A cucumber. Move your hand. What are you doing? I haven't punched him out yet. Oh my lord. That's not fair. She's making shark teeth out of a cucumber. You don't get any points for cuteness. You don't know that. You didn't do your research on your judge. That. Oh, uh, the plot thickens. So if, if I ever uh, lose my job, I'm gonna go work on a cruise ship as a as a watermelon carver. <laughs> Obviously not as a chef. <laughs> what is? Do y'all see this mess? What is this? Look, it's artsy. It's got like a. It looks like seaweed. The shark got shot with a spear gun. Looks like Key West Waterman got that one with a spear gun. I think you're just jealous. Jealous? Yeah, I'm jealous. You see them shark teeth, girl. Wait, I got one more tooth. <laughs> Two. <laughs> I'm hanging out with my mama too long. Brookie, while we're waiting, I made you a little bit of the leftover stuffing. Oh, I figured hey, you might have a little Brad, snack. Brad, you cannot Just... give that. Brad. <laughs> what? Do not eat that, Brad. <laughs> what? Uh, she's hungry. She drove all the way over here. Quit bribing the judge. She came over here to judge for us. I'm just giving her a snack. She's got her a cold just beer. Just a quick bite. Just a quick nibble. Just a quick. Okay, I see how it is. You're making shark teeth. I'm just feeding her something. All you got to feed her is a mandarin orange and a shark tooth cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> but it's paleo. Paleo. Oh, look at the. <laughs> All righty, y'all. I'm feeling a little bit better about my shark. He's got teeth. Oops. Now what to do about my mahi? All right, y'all, I failed as an artist. This is what I got. I'm getting rid of this. Mm -mm. But I have eyeballs. All right, y'all, so I cooked up some jalapenos and red onions to add to the dish. I'm just not sure where I should put it. I feel like something needs to happen with this mahi right now. Maybe let me tell you where she put those. This would, this would be a good spot to put those onions and jalapenos. Just save yourself a little time. Hey, Brad. Yeah. That reminds me. You need to take out the trash. Ah! I'm getting my confidence back. They're both sharks now. No longer a mahi. Shark turned out great. It's gonna both be sharks. It's just, I think that's my call. Like, my call? That's what I need to make. Sharks. Me and sharks. Hey, preliminary judgment. I'm loving it. You're loving what? The creativity. What? Over You're here. that? Yeah. Are you kidding me right Excellent. now? Excellent. <laughs> Anthony Bourdain would be proud. Anthony. Come on. <laughs> look at this. What is going on over here? Now that I give you, I give you credit. The shark does look pretty cool. They're both sharks. But this moray eel covered not, in camouflage. He's not. He's a rainbow shark. <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> rainbow <laughs> shark. <laughs> Done. <laughs> I'm gonna lose with a good dish because I didn't make a rainbow shark. Crap. shape of a shark. Tasty for the adults, but fun to eat for the kids. And also you get a little vitamin C with some oranges, but are they oranges? No, they're shrimp. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> this is too much. The bug said I won't even eat that mess. <laughs> Here we go. All right, Brooke. Here are your sharks. Shack. 
this looks amazing. Thank you. I do not want to mess up the sharks. This looks awesome. Great creativity. Thank you. Uh, some of the things I'm not so sure about. <laughs> what are <laughs> What are you not sure about? Um, these red onions. I know, <laughs> I know, I know. Y'all, I took a big hit with the onions, but you can always scrape them off. Can I eat a spoon? Yeah, you can eat the whole thing. She's like, I don't want to eat the whole thing. <laughs> Fabulous. Fabulous. I'm gonna eat his nose off. Is he? Is it really good? It's really good, so honestly. You, Creativity, I, 11. Taste, 7. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. See? I have to say, these oranges are the best. <laughs> Everything else is very, very nicely done. Thank you, Miss Corey. You're welcome. A little shot of this perfection over here on this pan. Oh, hush. Sure. Seafood yeah. and sweet potato stuffed mushrooms. dish this is the paleo friendly stuffed bellow portobello mushrooms with flounder sweet potato jalapenos red onions a little bit of garlic and some of that vegan cheese cooked with a little bit of coconut oil we're going to present this to our chef with your same fork hope that's okay a little bit of green onion for color just to see what you think of the winning dish so brad i can tell you already that Corey has outdone you in presentation Oh, what a bummer that is. <laughs> but we will see how this tastes. So, so, disappointing. If I'd have given the mushroom shark teeth, would that have helped? Well, the sharks were pretty phenomenal. Oh, they were pretty phenomenal. Make sure you get some stuffing in there. Oh. She's going to I'm going to get it off. She's going to get there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, so you presentation, know. you get the seven. Okay. Taste. You get the 11. Mm. <laughs> that puts us at a tie. Yeah. That's I think good. that is a tie. That's not good. How do we tie break it? Second bite puts it at a 12. I guess I'm going to need dessert. Oh, oh my God! God. <laughs> <laughs> what? Twister! <laughs> <laughs> okay. That'll do. <laughs> so we have no clue who wins this contest? We have to have a winner. All I'm saying is who caught the flounder that we used. Mm. Oh. Mm. Who was it? Corey. Okay. We have our winner, folks. Winner? I think that I was bamboozled <laughs> on this one. I think I got shanghaied by, by after school finger art. <laughs> is what I think has happened. But I'm not one to go against the judge. She said that Corey won. Corey's presentation was an 11. Her taste was a 2 um, or a 7. <laughs> Uh, my taste was an 11 and my presentation was lacking. You'll notice whose plate she's finishing and whose plate is over here getting cold. But Corey didn't catch that fish, so I guess I can concede yet another loss to Corey. God dang it, I thought I had this one. Maybe I really thought it was in the freaking bag. You're wearing me to get used to it. I'll accept that. All right, guys, thanks again. It was another fun video. It was a great time hanging out with Brookie. Thank you so much for coming over and judging for us. We appreciate it. You guys have seen her in the videos before. We love having her around. There's number one. There's the winner back here behind us. She won another contest, yet another victory. I go down and defeat again. I think you guys are starting to enjoy the fact that I'm losing all these contests. I will win one soon. Anyway, guys, thanks again for everything. We appreciate all the positivity, all the love and support. Thank you for everything. We're going to have a great 2022. It's to push for, for 10,000 subs this year. Thank you for everything, guys. Brooke, you got anything to say? Nope. It was wonderful. Mom, you going to close this out? Be sure to like and subscribe. And, of course, we'll see you out there. Thank <laughs> you.